um jay dushi a legation and um, a graphic designer i've been running this brand let me scheme for a while now um from the days of my like secondary school yeah so after school i further more in graphic um training so it's a part-time job for me though because uh, I'm an artist, so I just use this graphic um, stuff to um, back up my career, to um, earn funds and do other things. I love art, yeah, basically. So, um, and I just like um, combination of colors and stuff. I have no room with it from the beginning, from onset. So, just the um, idea of adding colors and creating things, that's the main passion behind the um, graphic stuff. It's not been easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not been easy, but we're just trying, going for tutorials and getting better each day. Because there are some things your physical tutor will just um, tell you. So you go online, search, and you know, experiment, do some practicals, and add it up to your knowledge. I touch every bit of graphics, every bit. From the printing aspect, designing for companies, logo, branding, everything. Just call on me, tell me what you want, and I deliver to you. That's just it. Firstly, you need to um, go for training normally on how to use a computer. That's the first thing, because you have to have a basic knowledge of uh, using a computer. So after that, you just go for um, college draw training, Photoshop, and that's all. And you have to own a laptop normally. That's just the thing. Designing on the laptop is way is way beyond designing on the on, on the phone. Because um the laptop gives you more working space, you know, to express yourself and design things. Unlike the mobile phone, it is um limited to do some kind of things. Yeah, so you can't compare the designs you do on your phone to a computer. It's way different, it's way, way different. But mostly, like, firstly, you need to have passion for it, firstly. Like, you need to love art. That's just the first thing. But secondly, if, like, um, as you grow in, you just like, ah, let me go for designing or doing stuff. You can just go and acquire the knowledge. It will work out for you. But the first thing I will say is you need to have um, passion for art. Because it will make it easier for you to just flow and create things beyond the normal human imagination, like you just create stuff. You need to have passion for it, that's just it. The basic thing is just um, color combination. That's just one of the basic things you need to know as a graphic designer. Then how to arrange um, arrangement of text. You know, like for instance, if you are designing a header, letter head, you know, you have the title, board, the um, contents and everything. But the basic thing normally is just color combination. That is what sets you like different. Like this is a verified graphic designer. Unlike some kind of people who just you know combine different kind of colors and just run some kind of weird stuff. Color combination is the basic thing for me. If you are working for a brand and you are asked to design a logo for them, you know, first thing is to like define the name of the company or the name of the stuff they're giving you to to design from there you go into a um, pictorial drawing either you use an image or you use a test you know to design then secondly um arrangement of taste is um very important because for instance if um you are going for a normal test a normal office um document the topic or the title needs to be in block like capital and there's some kind of fonts we use for that the content as i said earlier supposed to be um medium font size then we have the um border header and so many kind of stuff like i just can't say well arrangement of fonts matters normally these days things are more easier me for instance i don't have an office i work from home i just have my laptop you know, my software is installed on my computer and I worked and it is less expensive, you know, than owning a space wherever you work. I just have my house, my computer, my mouse, my software and that's all.
but it just depends on the kind of computer you need to you need to buy you need a higher processor computer you know whereby when you're working it won't it won't lag you know you just work fast and deliver your job yeah graphic design is a wide branch of art you know you can go for branding you know you brand um um logos for companies or their designs and everything it's very wide it's broad and one person like a person can't just touch every part of graphic design you just focus on one major uh branch of it but as i said earlier I may mean, i do everything if you just tell me what you want you know make inquiries and um, i deliver so graphic design is just a wide a wide um branch of art it's an applied art so it's very wide for me how i get my clients is i just go online you know fan art go to any celebrities um, page take their pictures design for them and tag them and also beg for a repost you get so by reposting my job i get other people who reach out to me in my dms i also run sponsored ads then thirdly um referral concept like people i worked for refer me to people ah, i work with this guy he's good he's reliable you know and so that's how i just get my clients and it works well for me so when i'm working on graphics you know i just like calm and raising any kind of um, available resources to make my work top notch without just digging too far and going here and there and stressing myself so that just let me scheme and it works out for me mm. a bit of everything because if i get a job from a client you know firstly i just go in details like defining um what the client is giving me if it's to design a flyer for their um company you know define the title of the program from there you have ideas that's how i just work and color combinations do i i i like merging colors like so that's how i just get inspired and work and i'm very good like no doubt yeah there are so many things for me because then when i started uh, there's something called mock-up in graphic design you know after designing you import it into mock-up to make it have this 3d effect so then i don't know if there's anything called mock-up or maybe it was but i don't know if i i can't say but now they're like things uh the graphic world is evolving you know we are having new um technologies new softwares yes yeah, softwares that's making our job way better than back then but for me i use um corridor photoshop lightroom and illustrator so the the um corridor normally is is is, is used for a bitmap so me I, I i use the photoshop for editing images you know blending the colors making it bright contrast and everything after editing the images on photoshop i export them to corridor add my taste backgrounds and everything voila and i'm done if you print it just export it send it to the printer and we are done that's how i do mine firstly is to be determined yeah because this job of graphics is not that easy and i'm not saying this to scare anybody I'm only saying it's not easy because like you need to go um way beyond the normal way people see things for instance if you're giving a business card to design you know normally you have to have the name of the um company manager and stuff you know you just think of something something different something new something extraordinary just go far and that's it and and, and pray and pray because you just need some kind of some kind of inspiration from all angles from all angles and the environment matters you know the things you see around you the things you discuss you know build your your intelligence on designing